Trazodone is a very useful drug for insomnia. Um, there are various studies showing its efficacy. Um, here's this uh, systematic review that just came out. I'm happy to see this because last time I looked at Trazodone literature a couple years ago, it was fairly scant. But so for primary insomnia, which means that people that just can't sleep and they have no other problems, it's not due to t depression or anything. Um, one study found that 50 milligrams of trazodone administered for 30 minutes before bedtime was effective for sleep maintenance, but that it was possibly associated with motor and cognitive impairments. Another study showed that CBT plus trazodone was the most effective for management of primary insomnia. So adding cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia plus uh, trazodone rendered the best effects. Trazodone also has uh, shown to improve sleep quality in daytime functioning in another study, which makes sense since daytime function is intimately linked to how well you sleep. Uh, trazodone has been shown to decrease REM sleep slightly and increase uh, the third phase of sleep, uh, which is the deep sleep that's rejuvenating. Another study showed that all doses improved sleep symptoms as rated by the sleep items on the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. So this shows that for uh, secondary insomnia, for, such as sleeping problems because you're depressed, uh, trazodone works great. And that makes sense because um, trazodone has antidepressant efficacy. So to wrap up, trazodone is a very cheap uh safe medicine. It's very old. I see it being prescribed for sleep every day in the hospitals and medical school. People generally tolerate it well. If they don't, it's because they have a headache, they get a dry mouth or nose, or they feel dizzy. These often get better with time. Um, normal dose for insomnia is generally 50 to 100 milligrams. Uh, food significantly affects when it works and how well it works. Um, so that's trazodone. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And again, always talk to your doctor before making any medical decisions. None of what I say, uh, none of what I have said constitutes medical advice. Thank you.